beautiful people. Today is not blistering hot. It was this morning, but it's not now. So It was really hot. It was really hot this morning, but since the rain has come very briefly and the clouds have moved in and the temperature's dropped like 20 degrees. It's wonderful now. It's time to work. So we are working. You are working. I am working. So like we mentioned in our last video, we are re-sheathing the entire place, or I guess sheathing in the first place, the entire place, taking off foam board and wrap gently and gingerly so that we can put it back in one piece. Putting on OSB and then we will put, like I said, the foam board is going back on and the, the wrap is going back on. Yeah. So right now, um, something we have to deal with and we knew we were going to have to deal with this. This is kind of why we left everything loosely attached is because I knew I had to deal with this. Yes. The uh, There's sections of this footer board that are just just rotten. Yeah, like uh, bad, bad. The uh, when we started pulling stuff off, you could just take your pocket knife. What do they call it? This is a uh, this is a calibrated rot detector. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the anywhere there was something attached uh, or a window directly under it is yes. rotten. So there was a deck up front, the right. deck on the back. There was this window All the was windows, particularly bad. The windows were not really installed very well. No, it, so. they just put caulking on. There's no flashing of any kind. Yeah. So now I'm Dealing ripping pieces out and scabbing it back together. Yeah, uh, so we've got it all braced. Got it all braced. I got a jack up under it. Oh. Not that it makes a difference. I This jack is so strong I could lift the whole thing up. You probably could, yeah. It. Um, but I've got it supported and I'm ripping this piece out. And you're doing and it in sections. I'm doing it in sections because like some section. sections are still good. Right. All of the footer boards are pressure treated and some are excellent condition. Yeah, they so are. So we're just going to leave them. Right. So the ones that are particularly bad, like this one. We're taking off. We're taking off. We're doing. This one, there's one up by the front door and then one under the window yeah. in our bedroom. So, yeah. This is this is the main hang up for me. Right. As soon as I get this done, then I can sheet it and all the rest will go so fast. It's but just everything I do, there's five steps before I can get there. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to construction. Oh yay, the cross members are not rotted. Oh so happy. Oh yeah, cross members are great. <laughs> I'm so happy for that. I've been having nightmares. Have you? Yes. Yeah, cross members are great. Yeah. They actually look brand new. Oh, I'm so glad. I've been having terrible, terrible nightmares that just, like, you know, went everywhere and ate it all out. No, they're good. Oh, they're so happy. Brian, you forgot your square. <laughs> yeah, you have to come back and get it. You have to come back and get it. <laughs> I don't understand why they needed so many staples. Every single board I pull out, there's like 50 staples. To hold it together. <laughs> of course I can't reach my eye. Uh... Where's a small child when you need one? Oh, you're gonna go in? What do I do without you? You would just get the small children to do it. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm happy to get out. <laughs> where I fall. To my desk. It's where you land on a nail or something. Right? Okay, I might need a hand. Okay. Let me put the camera down. Vlog life, yo. Okay, now I gotta rip this little piece out, get that out, and then I can start putting up Put back. Okay, cool. Trying to see this. Wait.
So this is pretty much the speed that yeah. we get to work at because we have something going on about every other day. Yeah. And I get to work on a little bit and then the next day we go do something else. Right. And, then, and so like this is part of our frustration. This is part of why we're losing our minds right now. So I'm going to put the foam back. Right. Rewrap it but right. in a way that I can peel the wrapping back off without damaging it. It's, it's, just, kinda, it's kinda, you know, two steps forward, one step back. It is. But we'll get there. We blocked right. out this weekend because it's supposed to be cooler. So no plans, no nothing. And hopefully it's not gonna rain this weekend. It's supposed to maybe. So it's supposed to rain. So we will try to do as much as we can this week or weekend. Mm -hmm. And and get it done. But I mean it is what it is. So we do what we can. Yep. Yeah? Alright, so, so next is foam board. Next is foam board. And then and I'll then. just put the wrap back. Okay. Kinda, you know. Just a couple nails that I can right. pull out easily. Loosely. But. All right, sounds good. Okay, wrap is done. Good job. Put back. Put back. Put back so we can take it off again. Uh, yeah, well, it is what it is. It, it, I sound frustrated. It's like a mixture of exhaustion frustration, everything. I'm not very frustrated. I'm just... He's grumpy right now. I'm, uh, maybe I just need food. I, I need, am kind of grumpy. Just need to feed him. It's all good. We'll get him fed and he'll be better. It's okay. So we have... Oh, this mosquito. Uh, Whole30 dinner. Um, we have reached the point in the month and in the grocery like budget where I'm just like, this is what I have in my fridge. I'm throwing it together. <laughs> so. Hey, we had this the other night and this was excellent. Yes. Cabbage with uh, beef in it, just some ground beef, cook it up, throw some cabbage in, seasoning, all that kind of stuff. Kind of just season it to what you want. It's bomb, whatever it is. Yeah, so it's all good. Pretty easy. Wrapping up the night in the garden. You feel better? Got some food in you now? I'm good. <laughs> I was just starting to get hangry. A little hangry. <laughs> I apologize for the things I said while I was hangry. Yeah, it's all right. So we wanted to show you our trellis that we made yesterday. Yeah, that was yesterday. That was yesterday. saplings from the forest the place you're clearing. Harvest, harvested this was like all the stuff that i'm kicking out of the way as i'm clearing stuff it's harvested <laughs> it has a purpose we've made it a purpose so actually i'm pretty happy with it yeah it's super cute i love it <laughs> lashed them together with some twine and now the beans have a place to go corn is looking amazing amazing that's uh it's half a bin more than half. More than half a bin tall. It's almost it's getting there. <laughs> nice. About as high as uh, the twins. Yeah. Butternut squash looking good. It's got some flowers. Was it butternut? Popping up. Yeah, I mean, it's not like an actual, it's a winter squash. So. Yeah, look at it. Yeah. Big old flowers. I know. Zucchini is also looking really good. Almost, almost, almost coming with the flowers. And then the tigger melons also flowering. I'm excited for those. Why? Because I love melon. And I, 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 I love melons too. to try too. them. Melons are my favorite, yes. especially weird melons I've never right? seen before. <laughs> and I just like the name, Tigger. Tigger melon. All this stuff is starting to come up. Yes, all of our silent movie garden. <laughs> Finally got it in. So we have, let's see, this was radish and some white lima type beans. Nice. Of, and then... Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff. There's stuff that just popped up today. Oh, sweet. This Ooh. stuff was up yesterday. That's a weed. That's a weed. Go away. This yes. is so crazy. It's coming. Like, being able to plant stuff, when we were in California, we our house had such poor dirt. It did. Like, this composting that we did would not have worked. No. It took us seven, eight, nine years to get that dirt to where it would grow stuff. Oh, and yeah. this, so we're, just, just we're growing up. stuff. Stuff's just popping up. Just add compost and water. Yeah, there's stuff coming up here. Yep, so these should be collards. Collards, there's some more. And then there's I had some, some broccoli and stuff in here too. And then these are zipper peas. 
that a viewer sent us, and I'm really excited for those. I hope they do well. I know it's a little late in the season for some of the stuff, but our planting calendars that we have found mm -hmm. uh, still say that the month of August we can plant beans. So we're going with it, and we'll just see what happens. Hey, anything we do until we fail is not wrong, right? That's right. I like it. We have to. We have to do. Do you? Do you, you do boo. you boo? <laughs> And then, I can't remember what's in this one. It's, oh, purple broccoli. And, actually the collards might be in this one. I need to go look at my list. We have plants. Yeah, there's plants. Look, food, yay. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's all written down somewhere. I just can't remember which is which. So. When, when we were making the silent video, she's like, okay, I'm gonna film everything I so I can go back and see what I planted. I put all the, all the uh, packets, seed packets where they were and then filmed it all, so I knew. So you've been working on this. This we're is working just on another bed. Basically, after the kids go to bed, I come out here and just start. Yeah, while well, it's up cool ground. and I've let the sprinkler run most of the day. Probably uh, maybe like six hours out here because it was so hard yeah. and so dry. I couldn't use the broad fork. I was having to use pitchfork. Yeah. Yeah, it's still pretty hard. But, but it's it worked there. well because you did like you went off and tried to do a section that wasn't wet. And it was a lot harder than the yeah, last section. So, so it's working well. I'm just letting it soak. Uh, I had the sprinkler on what I did yesterday. This will be more garden. Yep. And it's going to go almost to the barn. Yeah. Leave it pretty good, pretty good swath where the uh, the wheelbarrow got blown over by <laughs> yeah. a thunderstorm. More garden. Yes. And tell them about the experiment we're doing. So that was, <laughs> we basically double dug it. Yep. We basically double dug that. Uh, what's the guy's name? What's John Jevons. John Jevons. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. This was like John Jevons style. This, we're gonna broad fork it. We're to loosen not, it. We're not gonna double dig. All we're gonna do is come in here and top dress with compost mm -hmm. and plant in that and see how it goes. Yes. Somewhere else we haven't decided yet. We are going to straight do no till. I'm like I, just get rid of the grass. I, yeah, just but... get rid of the grass, put some compost on top, and see if we can get stuff to grow. Yeah. We're just gonna try all the things and it's all an experiment. It's all an experiment. See what works best. You know, honestly, like, okay, this is hard work. If all I have to do is clear the weeds and then plant stuff in the ground and it grows, then that's the method we're always gonna go with. Right. So, you know, see what works. Yes. Alright, so there you go. A little bit of house, a little bit of garden, we're good to go. Tomorrow's a long day, early day. We're gonna go help the roads, butcher some chickens, and get their, their meat mm -hmm. in the freezer. Busy day tomorrow. Yeah. We are getting the kids all washed and put in bed <laughs> yes, early. Yes, all that. So then this weekend we can focus on working on the house, assuming it's not raining. So, there you go. That's it. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.